Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick overview of a product called Lucky Orange. Um, what this is is a usability tracking tool um, or, or software that you would install on your website uh, to monitor a user's um, movements. Uh, also you can set up conversion tracking, you can set up uh, heat maps. So there's a lot that can be done in Google Analytics as you know with a lot of the um, actual where product or what pages people are going to the most etc but it doesn't really tell you what they're actually doing on that page unless they're clicking on something so if they're not clicking on something um, you might not get that information from Google Analytics so that's where this product comes on in as you can see they have a few um, options here if you just have one site uh, multiple sites uh, maybe you're an agency and you have several sites that you want to put up um, it starts pretty um, inexpensive so if you're a smaller company you don't get a ton of page views uh, 10 bucks a month is going to do you just fine um, but most I would say um, mid-level size businesses uh, around at six sixty thousand to two hundred thousand page views a month um, is where you're going to end up um, the larger scale businesses are going to be looking at the hundred dollars plus well worth uh, making this investment uh, so now we'll go ahead and dive on into it and show you guys a little bit about um, you know the back end uh, tool um, so you can see here, uh, there's a few different areas of the dashboard. Um, you have live visitors, um, which that will show people that are actually on your site. Um, so it's a great way for you to um, interact with them uh, if you do see them struggling. Uh, let me just see if I have a quick example of that. If anyone's, it's early in the morning here, so there might not be a lot of uh, people online. Yeah, right now it doesn't look like any of the sites that I'm monitoring, um, you know, have someone online. So, but what that does is um, it allows you to just kind of check in, and there is um, a chat function that you can actually chime in and, and kind of say, "Hey, is there something I can help you with?" So that is a cool tool that you can build in as well. Uh, there's a lot of chat products out there that do the same, um, but it's nice to have this all in one. Um, all right, so that's live visitors, um, and then there are recordings. Um, well, actually, let's start with the dashboard. So the dashboard is just a, you can set this up, configure it a bit how you want. Um, you can compare it to different um, uh, different periods. But you'll see here, this will show you the number of people that are online. Um, this gives you just the basic stats, number of uniques. I'm looking at a period of May 1 to uh, May 31st of this year. And you can see how many unique visits they had, page views, um, et cetera. Um, you can also set up tags. So I did set up a few tags. What tags is, is once they reach a certain page, um, you can tag that or they complete a certain action. So if they, let's say, get to the cart, you want to tag that that action. Um, again, a lot of this is available in Google. Um, not a lot you're going to see that is not in there. Um, but this is just a, a functionality that is achievable. Um, and then you also have... Um, funnels that you can create. So you want to see, let's say they got to the uh, the cart. How many people left at this cart? And I just set these up, so that's why there's no data pulling through. Um, checkout. How many people got to the checkout or the cart? Then went to the checkout. How many people got to the checkout um, and actually had a successful order? Again, a lot of this is going to be in Google Analytics, but it's just a uh, some. Uh, parts of the tool that I'm walking you through. Um, you can also put in like the tweets, connect social media to see some like what's happening um, in real time. Um, but then you can also see sources. Um, you can you can uh, tie in your keywords, mediums, and stuff like that. So again, it's not your. They're not trying to replace Google. They're just trying to give you a dashboard um, of everything. You can see where um, your most of your visitors are coming from, and then again, it breaks it on down. Not. Uh, they're not reinventing a wheel here again. This is all available through Google Analytics, um, but this is where we get a little bit, um, a little bit more precise. So you can see here, um, there's a, many visitors that have come to the site, and we can kind of see how they've been interacting. So you can see they had 180 moves, they had four clicks, um, they went through three pages. So let's just take a look here. It'll take a second. It'll load it, and you can see the user movements on the page it shows their mouse now this is only for your site uh, if they do change tabs um, and go away from your site that's not something that would be seen clearly privacy issues um, and just not available um, with funk, uh, with technology so here you know they're checking out uh, some pricing they're looking around they found what they're looking for um, they're building a product and we have access to this just to see um, this is where it comes in great you might see something that hey what are they looking for now Maybe they didn't find the right product. So they went down and found additional products. Now they're checking this one out. 
and they've left the site. So why did they leave the site? Um, this is now where you know if it's a it's a regular occurrence, you're going to be able to um, understand why they're maybe leaving the site or. If you were using that chat function, you might be able to chime in and say, hey, can I help you find something? Um, but maybe they're just at work and they had to go, they'll come back to it later. Um, but this allows you to at least get some insight on where users are getting caught up. So now if we go back, you know, let's choose a different one. Uh, this one had 169 clicks, eight, eight clicks, um, and two pages. Let's see how they did. So they're on a different page here. They're scrolling through. It looks like they're more so browsing. They found a product that they like. They're selecting their options. So this user seems to be a little bit more, you know, kind of confused. They're trying to figure out production time. They might have a question. This would be a great opportunity to hop in. But now they've, uh, they've entered in a quantity and they have left the site. Um, if you want to do a deeper dive analysis on it, you can start um, maybe getting more specific and tying users to see if that user actually did go on to purchase. You can set that all up through this tool. Um, all right, so we'll go on back. So that's a, that's a great option here within, this, uh, within Lucky Oranges to see what users are actually doing. Let's say you watch 20, 30 of these, um, or you can start seeing specific pages. So if you see, well, this tag, well, this tag was cart, you can come back and you can w look at all of those cart videos and see what um, you know where they might be getting caught up on. Now this next one is you know here's where I mentioned chat. So as they're as they're on the site, um, you can then kind of chime in and say, hey, how can I you know how can I help you and interact with your users? Very cool tool. This is where it gets uh, pretty neat. Um, so these are these are what's called heat maps. Um, so you can see what people are clicking on on certain pages. Um, you can see what uh, where they're move, uh, moving, what they're actually viewing on the site. All that data, all of those users that are coming, this is putting it into a readable format um, that will help you make educated decisions. Um, you can have different, you can um, filter this down to different devices. Um, you can have a different uh, uh, different pages here. So if you go to create reports, you can choose from the popular pages here. Um, or you can create a report and enter a specific URL. Um, and then you can put in, let's say, card checkout, etc. So let's say um, we're taking a look at the home page. You can see this has this was last built 148 days ago. Um, we're going to go ahead and let's rebuild clicks, and it's going to kind of erase all the previous data and take all the newest data and update it. Um, same with moves. We want to see that. Let's just do all of them for the home page, and then precise. And while that's doing, um, you know, showing that, let's just take a look at a, an older one and look at the category page. So you can see here, you know, where most users, where the mouse is, is usually going towards. Kind of spread out through, uh, you know, all over the place. So it doesn't give you a ton. This doesn't give you a ton of great information, um, but you can see that this seems to be, um, you know, the, the the two top products here, which is why they likely have them there but you can see that it's uh, at least shows you some of that insight now let's look at this now this is where it gets um, you know very cool where it shows you know the top two products that are hovering right on that um, this was where you might want to see what we can do to get them more information maybe a quick view uh, maybe they just want to say hey is this the right product you Twelve percent actually saw the footer. So again, a lot of great information here on you know what users are actually seeing. So if you if you want people to get to links in the footer, now is a good chance to say, okay, well, what can we do to you know drive people down on into that footer? It's not usually the case that you want people in your footer, but just as an example. Um, also, there's uh, there's precise. 
so you can see uh, these are you know where your mouse is literally hovering as people go down the page um, but let's just go back here and take a look at take a look at this so it looks, looks like this is showing the mobile version here so as people scroll down um, you know again it does pull uh, the mobile information uh, let's look at a product page oops I want to see the heat map um, so you can kind of see this is where it gets a little tricky the tool does have some issues when um, you're dealing with some Ajax type stuff uh, you're not going to be able to see uh, the checkout um, people entering in their actual um, you know user information again privacy issues uh, they're not, that's not allowed um, but you can actually um, see on the cart where people might be getting hung up um, and all the other pages so my account all those kind of pages you do see except for anywhere that someone might be entering in their information it's not going to show those those fields um, any input fields really um, you won't be able to see uh, let's see here um, and then also there is polls um, not widely used uh, polls are kind of an older um, older use but if you do want to say hey what made you um, you know why are you leaving the site or um, you know what's your favorite product things like that it, it is it can be useful but again a lot of users are going to close out it's going to bug them that you know they have to answer a question when they're their shop um, and then lastly there is form analytics uh, form analytics that is for um, let's say you have a contact us form or you're a content driven site um, where you're filling out um, a series of, of forms or questions what this does is it allows you to track um, how far down that form that you got um, so let's say people everyone put in their first name everyone put in their sec or their last name phone number email address um, but then when it got to comments no one no one uh, put that in so it gives you that information why people might be dropping off um, it's a nice tool to have as well um, but overall I mean this is uh, this is just a quick uh, to show you guys how the tool works um, it's, it's a great um, it's a great thing to have set up you can have emails sent to you each day, each week, to give you some insight on, um, you know, on the site and some of the analytics. So you don't have to be checking it every single day. But it, it's a really neat uh, tool. I definitely recommend getting it set up. It's going to give you some great insights. If you guys want some um, more information once you do get this set up, uh, feel free to contact me, shoot me a message, comment on uh, uh, on the video here, and I'd be more than happy to walk you through what you should be looking at within some of these reports because that once you have the data that's the, the first step um, second step is analyzing that data uh, third step is taking that data and figuring out now here how do we what do we do with it so uh, once you guys get that set up feel free to contact me I'd be more than happy to to help um, give you guys some more information on that um, but thanks for watching uh, feel free to watch my other videos um, comment share um, and subscribe to my page and again feel free to contact me with any questions thanks